So then the next thing we can do with this is rather than having a background color, we can use a background gradient. And so we'll come back over to our nav menu settings and scroll down here to our typical menu item styles. What we want to do is we want to customize our typical item background. And we select that and hit save. And now we've got a link background style, a hover background style, a current background style, and the current parent background style. So in our link background style, we're going to select use background gradient. And our hover background style will do the same. And our current background style, we're going to use a background color and our current parent background style, we're going to use a background color. Let's see how that shakes out. That might be kind of interesting. Okay, now that we've selected that, now we can pick our background gradient. Now we go to Colorzilla Gradient Editor. I'm just going to cut that URL here out of my note and paste it. Okay. And I want to start off with, well, let's see, I'm going to do a gradient in a single direction. And I'm going to start with that dark gray, which was 333333. Three, 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 three. All right. And I'm going to come back to this side and I'm going to do. 888888 and I'm not using a radial I'm going to do a vertical gradient and so this will be our background color and we're going to keep IE9 support set so now all we do is copy that and then come over here to our settings and we paste that gradient there Okay, now the other thing we want to do is set a hover background gradient. And in the hover background gradient, we're going to make it a little bit lighter. So rather than being that dark, we're going to take it to there. Oh, well, okay, I guess we're going to have to lighten this one up a little bit too. So now our hover is lighter. And we'll go ahead and copy that. And paste that one in there. And then our current background style, we said we're going to use a color, a background color. And I'm just going to pick, I'm going to do the 888. Uh, color. I'm going to do the same thing with the current parent. And hit save. And refresh this. Okay. So even though this is a solid color, it looks like it's got a, a gradient to it, doesn't it? But it is just a solid color. And you can see if we hover over this, you know, we get that gradient change, and otherwise we don't. Now, let's say that we wanted to create a little, actually, that's totally deceptive, that being, because that is actually a solid color all the way through there, and it's just because of its relationship to what it's next to, it changes. So, anyway, pretty cool.